That's what Sonic can do. I feel like he is a problem-presenting character, and who, what better character to solve problems than the tactician himself, Robin? <laughs> it should be herself. I'm a female Robin stan, but I guess the male Robin's cool, too. I can go with it either way, honestly. That's fair. I'm, I'm down for some... I, I like I like male Robin's voice too. He's very yeah, he does fire. have a very nice voice. Yeah, very very presentational almost. Yeah, I love nice it. professor. Yeah, and on a battlefield for game one, so lots of space for Sonic to move around, but for him to take advantage of those platforms, right? Sometimes that does necessarily put him in sort of a juggle situation, but that's not necessarily something that Robin thrives on a lot. Robin loves getting you locked down on the ground and then reading those jumps, stuff like that, and. Uh, we've got Cabasco, on the other hand, uh, the one playing the Robin right now. First of all, needs to find their way back to stage. Excellent tech, and the book puts Wolfie back off stage. And again, just takes a little bit of damage to get right back into this. Insane situational awareness there to know that you had to tech. That was crazy. And well, that you'd like be allowed. I felt yeah. like that percent was too high. Okay, 168 though. Have to be careful for a back throw. Able to get the up tilt. Not going to kill just yet, but... Wolfie great at fishing out of the air for up air, so you do have to be careful in those high recoveries. Also very comfortable going off stage and, and taking your stock as well. That spring could be problematic if we're seeing a lot of vertical recoveries from Probasco as well, but so far just really struggling to get back to center stage. Great patience though, using a lot of these arc fires, Wolfie not reading them and then getting in trouble Getting hit by that Levin Sword aerial, Cabasco dropped the taunt, so Wolfie will in return, <laughs> and why not double down on it as well? So dead even going into this stock number two, and both of these players feeling themselves. Okay. Ooh, okay. Great advantage state from Wolfie. Not able to find the second back air to take the stock at criminal percents, but just really going in with a strong advantage state in this second game, but that's ex or the second stock, but that's what we saw in the first stock as well. Um, and then Cabasco just being able to hold on to the stock until 180%, making it really problematic for Wolfie. Especially with the strong kill power of the 11 aerials. I have to be super careful here. Mm -hmm. Being careful of the L Thunder as well on the return back to the stage. And Wolfie playing this ledge trap quite a bit more patiently. Not quite able to take Cabasco off the top, but sliding right in under that arc fire. That's kind of what I was afraid of seeing a little bit more, that Cabasco is overusing that arc fire to get out of the corner. And Sonic absolutely has the speed to just sort of get a read on that and run right in before you can take control of that space, get right in your face and do some damage. Not able to close out that stock yet, but I mean, we're just a back row or something away to just take this Robin stock and melt the end of it. I love the way that um, Kobasco is using a lot of falling nair to cover the dash in from Wolfie as well. Um, it's a very strong hitbox and it it's great at covering that space right in front of you when you're landing. Um, but you do have to be careful because every time you're using that Levin aerial, you are getting rid of your strongest tool. Um, for getting that damage, once you have the bronze sword, it's just not going to be nearly as effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to be very careful on your resource management because you want as much available as you can against Sonic. In case in point, if you didn't have that Levin sword right there, that might have been curtains for Cabasco. So having it available, really, really key. Here comes Wolfie building on this damage. Platform getting in the way of that arc fire. Are we Ooh. going to see a deep edge guard? No. Cabasco mixing up these recoveries pretty well. Okay, just choosing to disengage with that arc fire at the ledge goes for the uh, the bounce off the shield onto the platform, which is very resourceful there from Wolfie. Able to use the drift back on the fair to actually get the confirm. It seems like uh, Kobasco was a little bit too far behind. Able to get Ooh. the tech and capitalizes off of it with the back air. Down nice. smash. Ooh. Okay, Wolfie, that entire sequence at the end was so clean. That was really nice, yeah. You know, sometimes Sonic does play in a way where just Everything kind of looks the same and nothing's really all that flashy because, you know, you just kind of rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat the very strong game plan like we were talking about. But that whole edge guarding sequence was so nice. Let's take a, yeah, so nice I want to see it twice. Love that spin shot, the very technical input right there. And then reading that tech, getting the hit back off of it on the rebound, and then just reading that recovery back. So you see, I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to see if I can, do a little, do a little, can I do minus 3.5 seconds? Can we go back there, minus another couple 10 frames? Because I do want to see this side B right back to the ledge, right? This is all in slow-mo. Get it back up to one time speed, because that input right there, very technical, hard to pull off, got the sour spot back here, and then just immediately 
Throw out the back air, frame trap, down smash right back into it. Love what we saw right there. All right. So. Going to Kalos for game two. I think, like you said, with the problem solver whole ordeal is that like Sonic is the problem because he can just stand there and you have limited resources as Robin so you can throw out those those thunders and the fires to try to force him to interact with you but if he has the percent lead like you have to throw those out if you just stand there he's just gonna stand there um, and so it does make it a little bit harder when you have that resource management to take into account and at moments like this, right, you do have to be comfortable with the game slowing down, all right? You don't have Levin's Sword. Maybe some of that magic is dwindling as well, so you just have to be careful. Wolfie does finally get a hard read on that edge guard. Has gone for it pretty much every time that there's been an edge guard situation. Only a matter of time until one of them worked out. Does finally get to play with a big lead. And like you said, Emma, now that resource management game is doubly important. Yes. Wolfie playing extremely aggressive off stage and just so <laughs> consistent with finding these back airs, whether it be off of an air dodge or reading a jump. But already at 97% on Cabasco's second stock here, able to get that fair again. And this is a scary situation, exactly what we saw. Already used the air dodge, able to get the spring, but makes it back to the ledge here, able to get that up air off to uh, get Wolfie off as well. I I'm loving what we're seeing from Wolfie right now. Like this is the Sonic that everybody imagines we yeah. could be seeing, right? Is that like, okay, I get my hit, and now I'm dashing everywhere, every which way across the screen. There's always a hitbox for you to contend with, but you know, sometimes the things do need to slow down. Sometimes the Robin is in a situation where you just don't want to approach him. Kind of where Cabasco's at right now. Got plenty of that magic queued up, but just tossing it away, and Wolfie has no reason to engage with that with this big lead. Only needs another solid hit near the ledge to take out that stock, but Levin coming in clutch once again. It seems like it's really hard to deal with the homing attack, especially at the higher angle, because you have to throw out those hitboxes preemptively to stop that, whether it be like a falling nair or a falling up air, and Wolfie can just choose to bounce off your shield and then get the punish oh off of it. Gosh. So. I, I love that from Wolfie, reading the drift forward off of the angel platform and putting the spring directly <laughs> under it to burn that invincibility and just waiting for the landing on him. You thought that you were going to drift into me and get behind me, but I know you don't have the speed like that, Robin. So catch this big combo, 73%. Wolfie is looking kind of unstoppable in this game. Yeah, I don't want to know what Sonic's speed stat would be if he was in Fire Emblem. <laughs> He'd probably be crazy. <laughs> the speedrunner's best friend, right? Yeah. I watched that Fire Emblem Awakening speedrun, and it was like, OK, you do a pair up to do a dash, and then you use this skill to do another dash, and then you're right in front of the boss, and you kill them. And it was like, wow, so what's the tactic for this stage? And it's like, well, you're not going to believe it, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah! Nice little upwards punch to catch that landing. Wolfie, I mean, the taunt happened in that game one, and then he was like, I'm just going to take you every stock what? from here on out. You know, I'm not even really going to think twice about it. I like the Sonic so fast that he was able to get two taunts in instead of one. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> Rolling around on the ground like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is he doing? He's, he's doing like the he wants belly rubs, right? He's doing like <laughs> <laughs> Interesting way to taunt them. I feel like you're just making a fool out of yourself, but live your life, Sonic. You know what? He's a bit of a clown, and I'll give it up. He's I enjoy a that. Goofy, but that gameplay was not goofy. <laughs> <laughs> ha! He's, you know what? It's goofy enough that he's laughing right now. True. Get him out of here. <laughs> Love that. That was smash. actually, he was like definitely throwing a lasso, you know? Yeah. Get, the, <laughs> get back here. I love that F smash. There's it's just so like funny. so much oomph to it. You see, you see, <laughs> winding it up and just throwing out the. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a, got a little bit of the, uh, the Fernando Rodney going on. The Don't know who that is, but Shout so out true. Baseball. <laughs> Shout out to baseball. Too bad that Indiana does not have any baseball yet. No major I didn't league know baseball. That. I wish they did. 